Before we start assembling the roof, I recommend building the chimneys first. This bundle includes two double chimneys. Let me show how let me show you how to do this. Firstly, cut the parts of the chimney out. Also, with the chimney, you've got two chimney pots, which are included. Now let's start assembling the chimney. First thing you want to do is, you want to take this blank spacing, spacer plate and put some glue on one side here. And on this side as well. Like so. Take one of one of the, uh, the longer parts and one of the shorter parts. Turn them around. Slot them in like so. And put the plate here. Like so. Now once this uh, sets for a bit, you can start adding the other walls of the chimney. Just put some glue, add the wall, like so. Hold it down, again turn it around, put some glue and put the last wall in. That's your partially assembled chimney. Now take the chimney pots, firstly put glue in the holes here, put some glue in here, like so, and just slot in chimney pots, like so. Repeat this on the other chimney. Now, when you've got both chimneys ready, it's time to start building the roof. First thing you want to do is, you want to cut the cables to size. Now, the easiest way to do it is, take a ruler and measure the width of the building. In this case, it is 65 millimeters. So, firstly, take the tags off. Take one of the gables, flip it, take your ruler and try to find a point where it is exactly 65 millimeters. Now 65 mm we will achieve 65 millimeters width if we take four rows of uh, bricks. So let's take four rows of bricks. Let's double check if it is 65 millimeters. Yes, it is. Repeat this on the second gable. Now that we've got both gables, we can trim the roof supports. Take the tag off first. Take a pencil and put the gable on top of the support to get the uh, correct measurement. Mark the line and trim it a little bit shorter than the gable. Now 
Now we've got the gables and supports trimmed. Let's put the supports aside. Let's focus on gables. Now this bundle includes kit of two barge boards for the gables. First, let's cut them out. Take a gable and the barge board. Put some glue on the back of the barge board. And glue the barge board to the gable. Repeat on the other gable. Now, to trim those, just turn it around and slice off the excess barge boards. Repeat on the other side. And we've got both cables with barge boards done. Now the next step is to trim the roof tiles. Take one A and B roof tiles and slot them together. Take your building, take the roof tiles, put them on, to, on top of the building with the interlocking part here in the middle. In this case, this double door is roughly in the middle of the building. Put this on. And take the measurements of where the roof tiles end here and on the other side here take it off and trim them now repeat this on the other two roof tiles and this time take measurements from the already uh, trimmed tiles And now we've got all the tiles trimmed to length. Now it's time to trim them to height. The easiest way to do is take your finished cable, put it along alongside the uh, roof tiles and look for the point where it ends, which is about here. Now I do recommend taking off the top of the roof tile panels with the tag on. If you do this this way, if you take the top instead of bottom, then you you make sure that uh, all the tiles will fit. So in this case we're taking three rows of tiles. And that's our tiles trimmed to both length and height. Let's put those aside and let's take the roof support strip strips kit. Take all these strips out of the spruce. Now, to trim them to length, take one pair of the roof tiles, slot them in, take two strips and one very important thing to remember is always trim the supports to about half a tile, three quarters of a tile shorter than the actual uh, roof, roof uh, length. So let's do this like so. If they are too short, just put another alongside and trim. Now let's trim this one as well. So we will have three full length ones and 
free trimmed like this. Now when you've got all of the parts of the roof trimmed firstly take two of the same roof panels from one side take one gable and take one support so let's make first half of the roof now it doesn't matter whether you use the short or longer uh, su uh, support strips at this moment I'm going to use the shorter ones first thing you want to do is take some glue and put it on the top slot in the gable here and slot in the first support strip let this aside for set this aside for a dry for a couple of seconds now take the support put some glue in the top slot and slot it in right around here like this it does help to have something with straight lines like this uh, cutting mat so you can uh, align it correctly while the glue sets like this now take glue again and put it in the side slots of both of the gable and the support and glue the other support strips give this some time to dry now when this had some time uh, to set take those two panels remember where the top and bottom is take some glue and apply it to gable support strip and the support side Now take one of the roof tiles, remember where the top and bottom is and glue it flush with the gable make sure the gable is glued first because that's going to be the visible part flip it around and glue it here make sure also this strip is on the same level all throughout and there's as little gap as possible like this take the second panel and glue it give this some time to dry when this had some time to dry set it aside and finish the second half of the roof Now when it had some time to set, take both parts of the roof 
and glued them in the middle. Again, as with your uh, building, you can hide those gaps a little bit better with watered down glue. Already prepared some earlier. Give this some time to dry. Before we continue, I've got one tip for you. If the roof doesn't want to align perfectly like this, take an offcut of, so of something, like for example this is an offcut of the uh, roof support strips. Put some glue on it and glue it as an additional support in the middle let me just make a little bit more of those. And now those joints are much much flatter, fits much better. Don't put those too low because it will uh, interfere with the building. So let's fit it now. Let's uh, dry fit it and let's see if it's. Uh, Fit. Fits and looks good. Now, when the roof assembly had some, to, some time to dry, take it back and first thing we need to do is we need to glue the chimneys on. Now, I want the first chimney to be around here. So let me let me mark it here, and I want second chimney to be around here, like this. Take your chimney and put glue on the bottom. And glue it in the spot you chose take the second one and repeat give it some time to dry now when glue dried take your roof tiles and it's time to finish this roof assembly and this uh, assembly as a whole. Take them out of the spruce now to prepare them bend them along the uh, line in the middle put some glue and start gluing them starting from one of the edges of the building when you have to trim them just take your pencil, mark when to, where to trim it, and cut. If you have half a tile like here, always put it along uh, on the side of the chimney.
this last tiles complete the build. Now you can glue the roof onto the building if you want to or you can leave it detachable. Thank you for watching.